So I made a Split Rocker back in 2000. That's when I designed the piece. And I was uh, curious about taking two children's rockers. And I had one in my bedroom the, of this pony. And I thought it'd be interesting to just divide it right down the center and to take this other children's rocker of an animated dinosaur head and to put these two profiles that really don't fit together together and then put the wooden rail for the uh, the rocking horse through the heads. And so it creates a very kind of Picasso-esque type of sculpture where uh, the pony's eye looks out this way and the dino's eye this way. And it's also uh, it's a shelter with natural skylights where these two profiles don't line up. It gets a fantasy of like a, a child's house. I think Split Rocker represents division where uh, these two forms don't go together but at the same time it represents a unity because the only way that this split really exists is by experiencing it. I mean, if you try to represent it in some other form other than just experiencing it, you can never really replicate it. I've tried in different ways. You know, it's wonderful to have Split Rocker here at uh, Foundation Byler because uh, it's been at other locations. It's been in Avignon where Picasso had his uh, exhibition of his uh, late uh, paintings. It's been in Versailles right outside of uh, uh, the palace. But uh, here during the exhibition uh, at the Beiler Foundation, it's just wonderful because it's a very fertile environment, uh, Switzerland. And at this time of year in the spring going into the summer, we have a fantastic selection of plants that are uh, able to be quite fertile right now and to expand and create chaos. Some plants are going to want to shoot out uh, 60, 70, 80 centimeters in this direction. Others are going to want to dominate their territory this way. So it's going to become more and more abstract as time goes on. And I think that it also uh, is kind of uh, a homage or uh, a beautiful kind of floral tribute to Ernst and uh, Hildy Byler.